Hello everyone! Today let's join me to discover one really interesting thing in Hue, which is the art of Hue cooking. The art of cooking in Hue in Vietnam is pretty complicated, where people are aware that cooking must be done with all their hearts, so the process of cooking has to show the synchronization from selecting ingredients, pre-processing, marinating to processing to make a perfect dish. In the food selecting stage, where people often choose food based on seasons, people's budgets, and types of eaters. In the ingredient coordination stage, two principles are applied. Firstly, they combine supporting ingredients to increase the aroma and strong flavor of main ones. For example, gobi cooked with pineapple soup, sweet millet gruel cooked with green beans, snake head cooked with sour bamboo shoots. Secondly, the heavy smell or poison of food have to be removed before the coordination. For example, fresh bamboo shoots have to be boiled first before poured water into to simmer them with salt and duck. When combining spices, there are some principles too. The first one is to use right spices. For example, chicken accompanied with light leaves, squash soup with green onions, pumpkin with garlic. The second is to evaluate exactly the amount of used seasoning. It depends on seasons, weather, and eater's taste. For example, in summer, beef noodles should be cooked with less citronella. Dishes for people in rural areas are often saltier than urban people's. The salt is to use spices calmly and properly. Spices before cooking such as salt, fish sauce, sugar. Spices during cooking like sugar put in the pot of sweet gruel when green beans are softened. Spices after cooking such as green onions, cilantro to retain the color and flavor when served or pepper and wine after the food has cooled partly. Some spices such as ginger, galanger, turmeric are crushed first and then people will only take the juice and throw away the residue to avoid bitterness. The pre-processing stage has to remove all the poor quality or contaminated parts, save the good parts, maximize nutrients and cut nicely, reserve nice color to increase the aesthetic food. For example, when processing fish, you have to, after scaling, gutting, cleansing fish guts, people have to wash fish with ginger wine to remove fish smell, reduce viscosity, and dry it with a clean cloth before marinating. The black vein in shrimp back must be redone to remove fish smell. For vegetables, people do not soak in water for a long time to avoid losing nutrients. For fruits and vegetables, people will usually soak in water to avoid darkening. Dry nuts must be soaked for swelling to help cooks to cook faster and throw away rotten nuts. So, that's all the information I would like to give you today. Are they interesting to you?